As you all know, small businesses across this entire country have been decimated due to the pandemic and the forced shutdown. I understand why we needed to shut down, and this video is not here to argue that. The issue that I have is the way the government handled the shutdown. Millions of small businesses have closed their doors forever. What if I told you the SBA may have broken numerous federal lending laws, and they're in a desperate attempt to cover it all up? Plus, a little-known loophole on how you may be able to force the SBA into handing over your $10,000. All this and more in today's video. Hello and welcome to Stephen Carlson Show. I'm Stephen Carlson. I'm a tech entrepreneur, real estate investor, author, YouTuber, paramedic, and Clyde and Bonnie. The only way we are going to get our $10,000 idle grants and our $5,000 bonus grant is by standing together and making our voices heard. Make sure you comment down below with the hashtag Team Idle and share your video everywhere on social media accounts. Tag your local news stations, politicians, and demand that someone in D.C. finally get off their ass and save our small businesses before we all go out of business. Now, of course, before I go any further, a very quick reminder. As my regulars will know, I have a team of outstanding lawyers that I keep chained up in the basement and Clyde keeps them from escaping. The only problem with these stinking lawyers, they get a little rowdy whenever I make a video and the only way to calm them down is to give a quick disclaimer. The opinions in this video are exactly that. Their opinions. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a lawyer. So this is definitely not financial, legal, or tax advice. You get the point. Also, while I have you here, why don't you check out Weeble, link down below. Deposit $100 and get two free stocks. Or if stock investing is not exactly your thing, why don't you check out the other pinned video down below where you can get the equivalent of 40 free lottery tickets every single week. Multiple people have been asking how this free lottery system works. Just check out the video below. It's not a scam. It's a banking system where you deposit money into a savings account held by a bank and they reward you with lottery tickets every week. I use it and I love it. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to today's video. I see hundreds of comments a day from people on my channel, all asking when will they finally get their $10,000 grant? And for the few select lucky ones, when will they get any information on the loan through the EIDL program? Many have been waiting almost a year with little or no communication from the SBA. Some received official denial letters, but many, including myself for one of my businesses, we've heard nothing. I have sent in appeals letters, both via email, per their instructions, and I've sent certified return receipt via the United States Postal Service. Yet, over eight months later, still no response. Some businesses were lucky enough to receive a loan and or a grant through the EIDL program. As you know, I own multiple businesses, and one of them was lucky enough to receive a loan during the first few weeks of the CARES Act. Yet another business of mine, which is just as equally qualified to have received the grant and loan, has received nothing from the SBA. Not even a denial letter, nothing. And from the comments left by you guys in the videos, I know I'm not alone. So is there anything that can be done with the SBA and their total lackadaisical approach to communicating with applicants? First, before we get to that, let's look at an example story. You are John Smith, the owner of Johnny's Great Burgers and Fries. Your business is the talk of the town and everyone loves your food. It's currently the winter of 2019, and while this is kind of your slow season, you are planning expanding your business to a second location to open just in time for your busy summer season. You go to your local bank and you apply for a business loan. You wait a week, two weeks, three weeks, you hear nothing. You call the bank back and they say, we'll get to you soon. You wait another week, another, another, you get the point. Now it has been over two months since you applied for the loan and the bank says they're still processing your application. What do you do? Well, this is where 12 CFR part 1002, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, or more commonly just referred to as Regulation B, comes into the picture. This act provides a borrower, which is referred to as an applicant in this case, with multiple rights, including the right not to be discriminated against based upon race, skin color, religion, age, gender, sexual orientation, sexual identity, or any of the other federally protected classes. Any lender offering an SBA loan is bound to honor these protected classes and follow the Regulation B requirements. The Act states a creditor shall notify an applicant of action taken within 30 days after receiving a completed application concerning the creditor's approval of, counteroffer to, or adverse action to the application. Or, in plain language, they have 30 days to tell you if they're going to approve or deny your loan. 
pretty simple. When a bank or lending institution violates the act, they are hit with massive fines starting at $10,000 every time they violate the law. Which, coincidentally, is the exact same amount that the SBA owes you in your grant. Would this be a loophole of getting the $10,000 grant money? Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. The question I pose to everyone is, what makes the SBA any different from any other lender? Shouldn't they be bound to the same lending laws as a traditional bank? On May 6, 2020, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, that's the CFPB, issued an FAQ clarifying the Regulation B's application to the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program. They state that under Regulation B, which implements the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, a creditor is required to notify loan applicants of action taken. We already said that. And they said that this must be done within 30 days and that all PPP loans are bound to this. Now, without getting into the weeds here, the CFPB has stated PPP loans specifically are bound under Regulation B because they are loans that are issued through your local bank and thus they're under the purview of the CFPB. Because the SBA is a government agency, they do not technically meet the criteria, at least in my non-lawyer mind, of being a creditor. So they have basically a way out of this law and they don't have to follow it. But should they have this protection? Should they be bound to the same laws that every other bank and lender is? Or is it possible they are bound by this? What do you guys think? Steve Leto, Vitali, any of the other attorneys on the audience right now, do you want to weigh in on this? I'll readily admit, this law most likely does not apply to the SBA, but I'll wait to hear back from the attorneys. But in honesty, shouldn't it? If the SBA acts as a lender by accepting applications, approving loans, funding loans, and then servicing these loans, why are they not considered a lender under Regulation B? Why do they have an exemption? Now, just for the kicks of it, I sat down and calculated what the fine would be if, and only if, the SBA was found to be in violation of Regulation B, which, remember, is pretty much a stretch. Because these penalties start at $10,000 per instance, times the approximate 10 million small businesses that have yet to receive a loan or any guidance from the SBA, I'm kind of guessing that's kind of a hard guess to come up with, this comes out with a $100 billion fine. But of course, as I said, the chances of this happening are so incredibly slim. In fact, I think there's probably a better chance of Taylor Swift walking into the studio right now and begging for me to go out with her. Anything's possible, but it's a pretty slim chance. Hey, who knows? Maybe she'll write her next hit song just about our short relationship. What do you guys think? Why don't you comment down below and let me know? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like and subscribe. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.